tried the most advanced Kawasaki Ninja ZX-10R and you have proven yourself over and over there's only one rider left to face face yourself Gradually refined to keep it in pole position on the track and at the head of the pack on the roads. Now we get a chance to take a closer look at the Ninja ZX-10R. Yeah, it has 203 PS. ZX-10RR has a little bit more power and produces it in a slightly different weight. It's a 998cc 16-valve water-cooled engine. It has uh, finger followers. That means the valves are open longer and for greater duration, so it makes uh, more power. It also has a valve train which is significantly lighter than a normal valve train. As well as that, there's things like a cassette gearbox, which is a, a racing feature, slipper clutch, so an assist and slipper clutch, and uh, it's got an up-down quick shifter, things that you would only expect maybe on a race bike. There's a lot of World Superbike technology in there. We're talking about the engine, Martin. I guess there must be a lot of action going on within that engine. Yes, I mean, it's all controlled essentially by the brain of the bike, the, the IMU. You've got adjustable engine braking, for instance, you've got selectable rider modes. There's a lot of electronics going on. There are some day-to-day -day things that you might not expect at first. So, as an example, it now has cruise control. And even as an accessory option, you can get heated handlebar grips. So, it does combine some of life's luxuries as well as being a strong super sport machine. Inside the engine, there's a lot going on, but in terms of the chassis as well, mm -hmm. there's a lot of updates. Uh, it's got Brembo M50 calipers, as an example, but on the RR, the way that it, it differs from the R is that it's also got things like Marcazzini wheels, which have been developed specifically for the ZX10 double R. The double R is what you would call race ready. Yeah. So it's ready to perform and to be modified or changed if you wish, or even ridden as it is for a super fast track day bike. Mm -hmm. One thing we really need to explore is the new aero package. There are integrated winglets on the front of the machine. These allow air to pass through the cowling through tunnels. That's 17% more downforce due to having integrated winglets. The aerodynamic package just takes things to another level. Greater contact area of the tyre, greater grip, greater feedback. Here comes Jonathan Ray then, carving his way into the podium places. The race certainly looks above human. World champion in 2020, the celebrations can begin. Ray has done it for a sixth year in a row. Can you believe it? And on the rear seat, you'll see that that's changed the design as well. And that creates an area of low pressure. Add to that the fact that the uh, screen is 40 millimeters higher, so the rider can tuck in more with those uh, wider handlebars. And essentially the whole aero package has been changed. It's been developed from World Superbike and it's making a real difference to ZX-10R and ZX-10RR for 2021. We will take our Ninja brand to the next level with technical and engineering updates to both the Ninja ZX-10R and the Ninja ZX-10RR. The Ninja ZX-10R and RR have carried riders to over 120 wins in World Superbike races since 2011, as well as the world-famous Suzuka 8-hour race and many domestic championships, such as the British Superbike Championship. Jonathan Lea won his first ever race on his Ninja and has won multiple World Superbike Championships thanks to Ninja Power. So let's look at this bike of champions that is so loved by road riders, track day fans, and professional racers. The first thing to mention is that 
all the existing highly praised electronic rider aids, such as rider modes and sports traction control, remain for 2021. Added to this are many new engineering and technical updates, many of these as a result of input from the Kawasaki Racing team. Hours of testing by the factory team riders, providing information to KCH engineers, has resulted in a number of innovations for 2021, including a new aerodynamics package, compliance with Euro 5 for machines sold within Europe, and further refinements to the ZX10 RR specification. The cowling now features integrated winglets. As the air passes over this, the effect is to create downforce. In fact, the 2021 ZX10R is a bit up to 70% more downforce than the 2020 model. It also has a new rear seat design that creates an area of low pressure behind the rider, and a taller screen resulting in more aerodynamics front profile and greater efficiency. Additionally, there is a new air-cooled oil cooler and new handlebar positioning. Thanks largely due to the rigorous testing and feedback from the Kawasaki Racing team. For the 2021 ZX-10RR, Panko lightweight pistons are new, while the Panko lightweight connecting rod comes as a standard specification. These and other measures reduce the cylinder head group weight by approximately 500 grams and also allow the ZX-10RR to level 400 RPM higher, making more peak horsepower than the ZX-10R, as the machine that has carried races to the World Superbike Championship podium every year since 2015. The ZX-10R is a super sports icon, and for 2021, we have made both the ZX-10R and the ZX-10RR even better. Road or race, there is only one choice, Ninja from Kawasaki. Thank you, and let the good times roll. It's got a different dashboard as well for this year, right? Yeah, the TFT meter is different. It's really clear and easy to understand. The good thing is, is when you're concentrating on your road riding or even in track use, if you go to a track day, you can see it very clearly in your peripheral vision. And as you can see on the front of the machine, it has the river mark. So for 2021, the ZX-10R and ZX-10RR have that mark, which is only used on the most special and prestigious machines from Kawasaki. Thank you very much, Martin. And a big thank you to you as well, our viewers, for joining us for this special presentation of the 2021 Ninja ZX-10R and RR.